Welcome back everyone, I'm Russell, this is the Minnesota Bearhawk channel, and we're on to episode 5 in my patrol build. This week, hopefully, I will get the aileron rib attach angles drilled to the spar and match drill the spars to each other. I'm going to get all the aileron attach angles drilled. I'm making up a jig that will allow me to drill all of them to be identical. So they'll be interchangeable, I can go from one to another. The advantage there is going to be after I've primed and painted and then final assemble on everything, I don't have to worry about which angle goes where on the spar. They're all going to be the same deal. So my plan for this week is to get those drilled, get them all placed on the spar, triple, quadruple, check all my measurements, make sure everything's in the right location, go back, measure again, probably measure two or three more times after that, get that all laid out in the, for as good as I can get it, correct location. I'll set my ribs in, in place, get the rib attach angles clamped to the spar. We'll pull the ribs back off and use the pre-drilled holes in the attach angles to drill the holes in the spar. Hopefully things come out the way I've got it planned. I really don't want to have to bend up another spar. That would kind of suck. So wish me luck. Enjoy the video. So let's see if we can see what I got going on here. You can see the drill rod poking out of that hole. And I just got a drill bit poking out of this one. The drill bit is just a stop. The drill rod is a locator. You'll see in a minute how that's gonna work. Again, I've got my stop here, and I've got my locator pin here. Now what I'm going to do, this is just mock-up piece, to, just to make sure I've got this jig built right. Obviously this is too wide, but, What we'll do is rest it right up against the stop here, fire up the drill press, and now that we have that hole drilled, pick it up, move it over, drop it onto the locator pin there, And that allows me to get all five holes nice and straight. They will all be the same from one angle to the next. So here we're just cutting up the 032 into rib attach angles. This is the stuff I bent last week. Set up that fence. Worked really nice to get consistent length. It's just a 2x4 clamp down to the base. Take all the attach angles over to the drill press, punch through with the number 41 drill bit, and this is just using that jig. It worked really nicely. And then we can just let them stack on up. Got a little lazy at the end of the stacks. Okay, got all of my attach angles clamped in place. They're a little tough to see there, but you can see them kind of tucked in. You can kind of see it clamped in there, kind of not. Anyway, now the plan is to pull the aileron ribs loose from the table. You can see I got them clamped down with some wood. So the plan is to take the aileron ribs off, leave the attach angles clamped to the spar, and I can lay that down at, in a position where I can easily drill the holes through. Being that I've got the four holes on each side already drilled, they're a nice guide so I can punch those right through the spar, and then I will actually use this spar 
as the template to do the opposite spar. So they will both be identical. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that uh, coming up. Okay, so you've seen how I had these clamped in place with the ribs clamped to the table. And we just showed you me taking apart, taking all the ribs off. And now I'm just left with the attach angle clamped to the spar. And I've got it set up on a 2x4 here. So now I'm going to show you the next step. I'm not sure if you can see the black line right there that I drew in when everything was clamped down to the table. That was just a reference for me to verify that nothing moved. And since it's still on the line like it's supposed to, take my 41 drill bit, right through the hole that's already pre-drilled in the attach angle. Take our Clico. And there's one. We got two in there. We can get rid of the clamp. Now we can get to the other two. Voila! And there we go. Got them all drilled, clicked in place. Next step is to make the other spar match. Okay. We got the two spars clamped together. And you can see the tape I put on the clamps is just because they're steel clamps and I didn't want to scratch this aluminum up. I did the same thing on the other side. They're all clamped in. I used the 2x4s there to span because obviously with this just being flat it couldn't get in to the web of the spar. So 2x4 fits nicely, easy to clamp together. Now one thing I paid close attention to was these are flush. That's as close as I'm capable of getting it. This side, same thing. Nice and flush. The top is flush. The bottom is flush. That's as lined up as it's going to get. Now what I can do is use the holes I drilled for the attach angles and I can punch right through again and the other spar will match. Okay, we got everything unclamped. It's just the Clico's holding it together now. So deburring is a pretty simple process. All it is is after drilling, you've got a little bit of extra material poking up. So all we're doing, it's basically a chamfer tool here is what you're looking at. Drops in the hole, give her a couple turns, and the burr is gone. Pretty simple. Now I just get to go and deburr every single hole I just drilled. Might take a little while, but we'll get it. Okay, so that's it for this week. Got the aileron spar drilled. Got it deburred. Got the aileron rib attach angles match drilled to the spar. Match drilled one spar to the other. Deburred all the holes. And now we're on to the next step. Coming up. Hopefully next week, 
I will be match drilling the rib attach angles to the aileron ribs and if things go well I will also match drill the aileron nose ribs to the spars. But for this week I'm shutting down. It's Sunday, tomorrow's Labor Day. I think for Labor Day I should start off with cleaning up the shop really good. Well, pretty good. <laughs> and we'll move on from there. Uh, first step will be getting the attach angles back on, lining up the ribs again and seeing what I gotta do to get that all lined up correctly again and go from there. Wanna just say a quick thank you for all the support. Uh, the subscribers keeps on ticking up, picking up another one or two here all the time. Wanna thank everyone for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm having fun so far, I'm learning a lot, and hopefully you guys can point, point out my mistakes or maybe learn something from me, or just enjoy the process. I will see you guys again next week.